Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, then I have some fun videos for you. Today, I am so excited to go over what I think the best first piece of fine jewelry is for you to buy. I have been lucky enough to work in the fine jewelry industry for just about 10 years now. Over my many years, my own personal collection shopping, shopping for others, for clients, I truly think that this is a staple, no-brainer piece to start with that everybody, quite frankly, should have in their collection. I think that for any gender, for whatever work you do, a signet ring is a must in everybody's collection. It's also kind of like the gateway to the fine jewelry world. You can find so many different types. Signet rings kind of help you dip your toe into the fine jewelry world, but also if you were to only ever get one piece, then this is the piece to have, in my opinion. Signet rings are a vintage style. Certain signet rings even date back to ancient times. I will definitely do a video on ancient jewelry soon. That would be so fun to kind of go over references, inspirations, but basically a very simple shape with either an ovular or circle or square in some cases, flat face. A lot of them have designs. We're gonna go over lots and lots of different types new vintage contemporary designer so i can't wait let's start with the elephant in the room of course vintage signets these can range so much in price these can range from just a couple hundred dollars to five thousand dollars it really really depends on the era where you get them from what quality the kind of cult classic ones that i think are so gorgeous are the vintage Tiffany signets. These rings have been around for a while and it's really cool because Tiffany used to do personal signet rings. So these rings either have family crests on them, personal designs. They are primarily an 18 karat yellow gold. I have had and sold a couple. And when I tell you the weight on them, it's just like this undeniable, beautiful, amazing, cool ring. Along with that, there are a ton, and I'm talking thousands and thousands. All of my vintage jewelry nerds already know this, but the vintage market is just like, it's so much fun. I always suggest starting on Etsy. I think that First Dibs, Ruby Lane have so many options. Again, it's kind of that like, maybe pick a price first, start from there. If you only want to spend, let's say $700, there are rings in that category. It just depends on what carat you want. There are a lot of nine and 10 carat vintage options, as well as of course, 14 and 18 karat as well. To just kind of go into a slightly expanded element of that category are vintage intaglios with stones. These are either vintage or ancient rings that have stones that have been carved on them. What they were made for is, if you've ever seen in old school movies, you would get your family crest or initials maybe engraved backwards and then you would press it into wax to seal documents and letters and then send them off so that people knew the lovely person that they were coming from. Two really cool Instagram accounts and websites that I recommend that you follow if you're in the market are The Moonstoned and Arrow and Anchor Antiques. These two lovely ladies just have this obviously incredible knowledge, but also just are continuously posting some beautiful rings. Diamonds in the Library is another person who I love following and just like, oh, if you want to see some beautiful pieces all the time, then these ladies have beautiful options for you. Moving on to contemporary options. If you are in the market for a personalized, just like timeless, incredibly special ring, I have already gone over this in my 20 fine jewelry designers that you should know video, but she already knows this. I am a huge fan of Kim Dunham. 
Kim makes these gorgeous, gorgeous modern heirlooms that she customizes to you. She is an incredible option for signet rings if you are looking for something personal and special. Another contemporary designer who is actually newer to me, this is CC Jewelry. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh my goodness, talk about like a mini painting on a ring. These rings are like to die for. This is the definition to me of like, yes, you need a signet ring and yes, it's gonna be cool and unlike anybody else's. These rings are so fun. They have been enameled. I believe that there are some custom design options. I think as of now, there are two different size signet rings you can go for. To me, the horoscope collection is like already iconic. These little depictions of their version of each horoscope, the colors, the designs. Oh my God, talk about like a fun piece to add. This I would absolutely add to my collection in a heartbeat. For a more affordable option, Catbird has some really, really sweet, dainty little signet rings. I believe you can also get them customized with your initial and initial of a loved one. These ones are just like too sweet. Again, if you really have not delved into the fine jewelry world, this might be the perfect option for you. Veda Jewelry, again, a personal friend of mine. Beta has such great options. They have just a few motifs, but these signet rings like talk about the perfect easy piece to add. Easy as in it will fit in with anybody's own personal collection. The motifs are really, really sweet. They each have their own vintage story that comes along with them. These are just kind of like, you don't even need to think twice. They're perfect. I think that signets on a pinky or a ring finger, even I've seen some cool people wear them on index fingers, Veda Jewelry will have one of those options for you. I love her rings. Lastly, I have such a fun, completely new discovery in my world. This is Seb Brown Jewelry. Talk about like some fun, there is fun in simplicity. I think that sometimes like having a little bit of novelty is just so needed, especially in the fine jewelry world that I know intimidates a lot of people. I know a lot of people kind of get scared of spending so much, A, and also just like having so many options. Seb Brown seems to add like this little element of novelty, this little element of fun into his jewelry. I love these signet rings. There are a couple with some stones kind of like beautifully placed around. And my favorite, I'm sure as a lot of people's favorites of his collection is the smiley face ring. I mean, how could you go wrong? These are too cute. Again, they're fun. From a distance, people just think, oh, that's a really cool ring, and then they come up close and they're like, oh my god, this is amazing. It literally does just that. It will make you smile. He does a couple different carrots. I know that some of the smiley rings are in nine carats, so they're affordable. It's kind of one of those things to just like brighten your day up. I loved finding him. Well, that has been my list of signet rings that I think are absolutely more than worth it to invest in. Signets are the perfect entryway into the fine jewelry world and also the perfect addition for people who already have ongoing collections. I am so grateful for you guys. As always, thank you again for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We have some fun videos coming up soon and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much. Bye guys.